Hey everybody, my name is Kademo, welcome back for a new series called The Other Worlds. It's uh, apparently, from what I understand, a game that is just like Fallout. Uh, in the sense that it's an RPG game with a lot of space, a lot of open world. It's a lot like Fallout, the way it plays. Not the way it plays, but the way you interact with people. I'm really excited for that. I mean, if I want to Fallout in space, I don't know if that's going to be that. But the music is just tremendous right now. Just on the main menu, the music is unbelievable. I don't know who did the music, but that cr that's crazy. I love the music already. I'm really excited about playing this game. This might be uh, the new game, a new franchise game, you know? We never know. Uh, it's a brand new game. Really excited to play it. I don't want to waste any time here, guys. I just want to jump in and see what it's all about. So let's go. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh shit. Hold on. Attributes. Alright, let's see that shit, guys. So attributes, strength, average, body, okay. So is there a point staking for these? Oh, there is. Okay. Ooh, I see. Must have been feeding you so strength affects uh, melee weapon damage and the amount you can carry. That's kind of... I want that to be good, guys, because that's going to be important. Dexterity, melee attack speed and range weapon. And we're going to wait on that. Intelligence, uh, critical hits, e uh, affects headshot and weak pot damage. I'm going to go do uh, good on that one. Charm. Affects uh, faction reputation and com uh, companion ability cooldowns. Uh, and uh, te temperament improve improves your natural health regeneration. Alright, so health regeneration high. Uh, we want charm to be good. This is good. We're going to keep that at average. Intelligence uh, average, I guess. And a weak spot, I don't know. Melee damage. Uh, intelligence affects critical. I'm gonna do good. There we go. Good average, good, 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 high. There we go. That should be good enough. Uh, and uh, yeah, I want that. Next, the skills melee range. So, melee skills improve critical hit, uh, crit critical hit chance with handled weapon. All right, so we want to go melee or ranged. Usually I'm more of a range guy because usually I use more of the guns in the Fallout series and since it's or, uh, I, I've been told that it's just like Fallout, I figure I might go for range. A defense, I don't know, dialogue though, persuasion, definitely. I do want dialogue guys, it's going to be really important. Uh, the stealth, I don't know about stealth guys, tech. Leadership, inspire, inspiration, inspiration, 
companion health and their abilities in combat. I don't know about that. Tech, medical, stealth. I feel like range and dialogue are the two you ones I'm going to need the most. I'm going to upgrade friend. that. Attitude. What is that? So, no discernible attitude. The colony sounds like, uh, sounded like a nice entry level career for a person of your skill. Uh, oh, so that's what we were previously? Oh, that's interesting. So it's the, uh, giving us the bonuses and everything. So determination plus one. Drink effect, block, perseveration, uh, dodge. I'm looking for something more interesting. Inspi inspiration, maybe. Medical plus one, that could be good. Plasma damage, science plus one. Ended melee, uh, sub sous chef. The hierarchy of a modern kitchen is a ladder of many rungs. You, your, your role as assistant to the second chief uh, deputy chef, Hade, is one of the middling distinction. You are honored to pour your heart into the ritual emptying of grease pans and the uh, backbreaking la labor of gravy restoration. Uh, you're holding out for that advancement to poultry or poultry inspection. I can't talk, guys. I can't read that shit. Which is due any year now. Interesting. Scientist level. I don't know what I, I want to be, guys. For a uh, farmer, no. Huh. Beverage service cashier subgrade non supervisory persuade. No, I want that persuade. Working your way uh, up. To it's it's what I am in real life, a cashier. So there we go, guys. No, just, no transaction is finished without a smile. Exactly. You live for that uh, chunk of a big uh, of a pit uh, cartridge getting inserted right side up. The redemption of a lo uh, redemption. Of loyalty points and the promise of a good day come back real soon bye bye now <laughs> are more than empty words they are promised in a standard you intend in a carrying to the frontier yeah we'll take that gender uh we can go either way uh, i'm gonna go myself so i'm gonna go g male here face that's crazy so we can upgrade all that shit all right Give me a second, guys. I'll transition on until uh, I've got uh, this done. All right, guys. I've got my appearance right here. Look at these fucking eyes. I've decided to go... It wasn't a really any color for the hair that was really overly, like, platine or blonde or anything. Or, like, overly, like, super, b super high on your, like, your highs, really, uh, that uh, was... Uh, it was something out of the ordinary. It was really all dark colors. So I went for my regular hair color and my regular hair uh, uh, color for the beard and stuff. So uh, and I went for a long beard because why not, right? Look badass with a long beard. I went for a little, a little scar in the, uh, on my uh, high, uh, right high right there as well. And I went really pale. Uh, just to get that effect, I'm kind of pale in real life as, as well. Not as pale as I used to be, but there it is. And um, the the red eyes, just because it looks cool. And you look like a goddamn vampire with the red eyes. So why not? Let's go uh, with that. Uh, next, enter the name. You already know which name we're going to take, guys. Gap de Moir. This is a long... takes a long time to just do the character. But you want to do it uh, nicely because... We're going to be stuck with it for the rest of the gameplay. So there we go. That's perfect. Let's go. Get the more. So we've got good everything. And it melee. So that's my that's my stats. Basically. And it melee is not. And me melee too. So secondary uh, hand is good I guess. But this, uh, the, the, the first hand is not that good. That's okay though. That's, uh, that's okay. We have been uh, some stuff are right, upgraded inspiration uh, intimidate so these are the things I want to have the most uh, here the, the ability to talk uh, really good to convince people when I'm talk you know looks to be your lucky day my friend Not like 
likely bootlickers. Initiate skip jump. Am I waking up for the first time in uh, how many years? This guy just woke me up. He chose me for some reason, guys. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. 70 years? Normally, That's not too bad. Driving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in... My first companion already, guys? What the hell? Who's my first companion? Fuck! I'm going to an elevator. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Okay. Sure. So it is from my understanding. Now we just went on Earth. Or uh, a random planet, I don't know. It is from my understanding that we are colonists, so we basically were supposed to colonize uh, a new planet, but we got lost or something during that um, that tryout. So and now I just woke up after 70 years. Is that him? Oh, that idiot! I told him to plant the really and move away, not stand there holding it. Did I just kill my companion right away? Damn! I just killed my. That's funny as hell. I literally just killed my uh, my partner, guys. Well, so much for that. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Can you shut the fuck up for two seconds? I'm trying to talk here. Anyways, what's going on here? Jump over obstacles? Yeah, I guess. I jump really high though. Do I? Uh, it's probably because of my jumpsuit and everything. All right, let's see. The crouch. All right, I kind of figured that out. That's like anything. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you're gonna be able to get to different planets uh, as time goes by. If that's the case, that's gonna be awesome, guys. Sprint. I've already figured that out. There we go. What was this? Was somebody else here died? The fuck? All right, take. Now I don't like the fact that in order to take stuff, you gotta press X. That's kind of uh, that's kind of weird. I guess they didn't want to confuse the button with the uh, the sprint button and stuff. Shit! Don't want them to see me. I don't have any weapon right now. All right, uh, I've got so adrenaline apparently. 
It's probably to dodge, so you can dodge twice and stuff. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, let's go. Don't want them to see me right now. I'm trying to be sneaky, guys. If they see me, they're going to kill me. I don't know what these are, but they look like uh, Shyin is, uh, Ienis or wolves and stuff, so. We need to grow. Alright, we're good. We are way good. Alright, let's go. Let's go to this cave right here. What the fuck? What the fuck's going on here? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Side effects? What type of side effects? Oh boy. Oh, I just hurt my leg. The fuck? You are low on health. I'm good on health. My health is just fine. I don't need to use it. Alright. Who is that? The fuck? Is that my partner? Hey, you. Come here. What if I don't want to come here? Shit. Alright, well. What do you want from me? You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Space was choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. A medical... Uh, sit still, I'll patch you up. Medical 5. I don't have it. I don't think I have medical 5, right? Or do I? What happened to you? Oh, sit still. I, I'm gonna try to patch him up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding Oh, I stopped. do. I, I was able one. to do that. Nice. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange from my report. Space was choice. Doesn't like us accepting outside help. Alright, so we uh, helped him out. So nice, good. Uh, spacers, what? What happened to you? Are you feeling? Are you feeling? What happened to you exactly? Who the fuck are you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Haven't you figured out that you gotta clean your weapons before going to a mission, you dumb fuck? Oh my god, what is this? You're hiding a, in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Well, not really. You can always use the weapon. What is this? What's this about the marauders? What were you doing out, uh, out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. Uh, that's board law, that is. Some hole heads grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I don't know. Persuade, lie, intimidate. So I've, I'm good on the, any of them. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go. Uh, I'll go get help. Um, someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. Uh, you're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Yeah, I'll I'll say that. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, Intimidate work, guys. For patching me up and all. All spacers' choice weapons are now thirty percent less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacers' choice. So I can basically do anything I want in uh, when I uh, when I go into conversation and everything. Yeah, I'm off. I've got a weapon, guys. How the fuck does he? Do, do you know that is not how you aim a weapon? Both hands on the weapon, my boy. The hell. All right, let's go. The fuck? Again? Tactical time dilation? What is this? Uh, complications detected. So, due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Interesting. Pressing the time uh, dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as the action. You have a limited time in this mode. Alright, so tactic. Okay, good. Interesting. So, I can use that. If I uh, am in too much trouble and stuff, there's people here. I can kill these guys probably. Can I not melee them? 
that's probably where it comes to uh comes down to uh the good stuff right the the melee ah here we go oh hold on no you don't they're both dead there we go giving me xp for that that's pretty uh, easy what are all these stuff i'm gonna pick all this i don't know what these do for me but i'll pick it up guys don't know uh so far what's the bonuses and stuff there we go hacking and picking locks okay how do you i don't have any lock picking skills or whatever you don't you didn't have anything on him all right good let's continue guys can i switch weapons now i wonder that's the only weapon i've got right now right i think so if you were able to switch weapons you probably would press y or something that weapon is not good. But I'll try to sneak attack them this time around. We'll try uh, the other route, right? The route where we can sneak attack them. And uh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Yeah, you're dead. Hold on. What the fuck? No, you don't. Is that everybody? I think that's, uh, that's everybody. I kind of fucked up there, guys. I fought for sure. Cartridge risk. I've got better cartridge risk and stuff. Yeah, I kind of fucked up. I thought um, I could melee, but they, they haven't shown me how to melee yet. So that's kind of uh, weird. I like this planet a lot. But I really do. I'm already excited at the potential of maybe seeing other planets and stuff. Alright, motherfuckers. Oh, your friends. Oh, all right. I thought for sure you were uh, mercenaries as well. All right, what's going on here? The fuck are you? I'm supposed to go there, but I want to talk to them. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse. I just killed all of them. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders gambling about. Uh, it's just a landing violet. Let it go. So I heard from one of your teammates, old up in a cave. I've already dealt with a few of those marauders. I'm not impressed. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. Sure you could. You know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. All right, do spacer stores guards uh, back down for my challenge? Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction. Zero, it's really, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, coward, I'll do it myself. Don't worry. I bet you could get those marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Interesting. Do space stores guards back down for my challenge? Huh. You know what? Guess I'll have I'll give you zero on my customer satisfaction or survey for sure. Seriously? But those marauders will Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship and file a full report. Then it's going to be fucking laminated. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. go. Let's go kill these bastards. So I can, I, I've already, already, it looks like they always give me three options. Either intimidate, persuade, or lie. Uh, it gives me a different options of dialogue and action, I guess, uh, for each of them. So that's pretty interesting in itself. Uh, really interesting, guys. Now, I wonder if we've got some, uh, well, we do have some weapon stuff. Oh, hold on. New weapon. Oh, you hold it. So you can hold your weapon. Okay, that's uh, interesting. You have found your new weapon. Switch allow you to rotate. So, well, I don't have my weapon. I don't know what you're talking about. So maybe it's a melee or something. There we go. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take everything I can see, guys. That was pretty easy. I think intimidate is the best one so far. Uh, with the way my character, I want him to re interact with people and everything. I'm not, not always going to do intimidate, intimidate, I think, but, um, depends, guys. Let's go. Right, we're in. 
You can fast travel to look into the unlocked lock by opening your map and selecting your destination. So fast travel is a thing. Good. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring you is dangerous for your health. Oh. <laughs> well. That's settled, huh? Unauthorized access of six bearing vessels. All right. So what is this? Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital aggregator of this vessel. That's a long name. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. You don't want to do that. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh, what are you going uh, to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to mis misappropriate anything. Uh, I don't appreciate being taught to that way. What are you going to do exactly? Are you really going to self-destruct yourself? Gesture procedure initiated. Procedure oh shit. Out. I a guess she is going to self-destruct. You realize we're on the ground, right? Is something supposed to happen? Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just fucking, I'm gonna piss off on everyone. Yeah, that's just gonna be crazy. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> I need to get this ship in the air. Is this our torn ship? I, I need to get this ship in the air right now. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Arton was supposed to meet me when I landed. Arton said, I'm sorry. Your cap is a red uh, smear under my escape pod. Okay. Arton was supposed to meet me when I landed. Arton's dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? What? Uh, I get it. You need me to be ca air or you can't fly. Okay, but I'm not Arthorn. Arthorn is dead. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside the ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. What do you mean Welcome the old me is Captain dead? Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Okay, I'm apparently Autorn now. Great, let's get out of here. You don't understand, my name is Captain Moore. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. You know what? Great, let's get out of here. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I've got to replace uh, something. I doubt I'll find a part uh, like uh, that just sitting in a garage. Here we go. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of sending you a unique captain's identity cartridge. Nice. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Um, of the Unreliable, I like it. Knock it off with this. <laughs> not <laughs> I'm that not going to go into the whole Hawthorne thing. She wants to call me I that. That's fine. All right, so she gave me a location. Level two, get the skill perks. All right, skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Every skill improves as it grows. Okay. All right, so level up, you've promoted. Congratulations, yeah, whatever. So now I can uh, choose what I can upgrade. I've got 10 points. All right. I do want to upgrade melee. I do need to upgrade melee for sure. And uh, defense, I'm going to upgrade by... I'm going to uh, upgrade a lot, uh, defense. Dodge, stealth, I'm going to upgrade it by two. Tech, inspiration, determination. 
Uh, dialogue, I'm already really high up in dialogue, guys. Terrifies our area of effect. Okay. Uh, tech. I'm kind of good on tech. I feel like I really need a range. Range for sure. You know what? Range and uh, in, uh, leader, leadership. I haven't upgraded that. So that's good. Uh, continue. Yes. Old. All right. So perks. We've got perks now. Tier one. Toughness. Negotiator. Being a shot nigger may cost you some friends, but you make up for it in a bit in bits. Vendor prices. Oh nice. XP from companion kills. That's cool. You've become a very efficient of transporting goods. Traveler is good. That's a good thing. Well uh, went alone in a party. Walk speed, sprint speed, companion critical chance, base armor, ammo stock, carrying. Carrying capacity. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that one. There we go. So yeah. Oh shit, that didn't work. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna apply. There we go. Apply that one. And now I've gotta do that all over again, guys. Hold on. We're gonna do that. So defense. Uh stealth, I gotta get it back. Uh up. Leadership for sure. And um, uh, range, range. I want to get it from two sides. Same thing for melee. There we go. Uh, defense a little bit. There we go. I think we're gonna be good. Uh, and attack. Why not? Right. So we gotta apply it basically. All right. So deletion. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We're level two. Next up, weapon management. That's cool. So which one is better? Is that the thing? That's the same thing. Basically, I've got the same weapons. Um, can I equip? There we go. So I've, I can equip that weapon. So that's good. Yeah, I need that. So we're going to hold to break down that weapon. That's going to give me some weapon parts. That's good. Next up, armor management. So we're getting all these things right now. Compare. Okay. Uh, health, all this uh, uh, nonsense. All right, that's cool. That's adrenaline. Made in space. I don't know what these do for me. I'm just going to keep that, I guess. Uh, add to junk. No options. Okay, so what about the rest? Med pack. Okay. okay. Journals. All right. Codex. That's fine. Okay, so I think I'm good, guys. There's the map right there. I can fast travel to that location. That's good. All right. We, uh, I'm ready to go outside. Uh, open. I'm still not used uh, to use X for opening stuff. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we got to dock your pay. I owe them money? Attack. Do you do you take down payments in Winton violence? That's crazy. Uh, you've got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety inspector. There I go. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. There we go. It's so fun, guys, to just simply being able to lie to people, persuade them. I'm uh, preventing combat. That's so funny. That's what I like to do the most is preventing combat. I don't need to the battle everyone. So we've got that mission. Also, we just unlock another mission, right? So what happens if my journal, uh, journal does it tell me where I'm supposed to go for, uh, for the zoom? It's only telling me for this mission, right? So, so far I only have center one play. Okay, so only have one mission. I don't, f I don't know where to go for a uh, reputation. Look at that. Groundbreaker. So these are all the uh, different people. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Details. Okay. Well, so far it's only telling me to go that way. So I'll go that way, guys, I guess. That's a, uh, that's a Marauder right there. There we go. There we go, he's dead. Oh shit, hold on. No you don't. 
Oh shit, come on. Woo! Alright, let's go. We're good. Get uh, all these pieces right here. There we go. Get all this money. Residents. So they killed some, a bunch of residents. These marauders are not really that um, that crazy, guys. They're pretty easy to defeat, I gotta say. I can't go to that side. Uh, I tried to cut some corners. Apparently, it's not gonna work. Or maybe it will. Just gotta find my way through right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do a longer video for this one. First video, at least, I'm gonna do a not one hour video for sure. I really wanna play more of this game, guys. Okay. Uh, there's gonna be some side quests. I wonder when that's gonna happen. I'm definitely gonna do those on my day, on time, though. Silas. Okay, so. Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Who? Uh, all right. So who's this? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. <laughs> Marauders. I keep killing them. How do you know about? Uh, I'm not a marauder. My pot crushed in the hill back there. I'm just passing through. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. All right. I've never got your name. I've got them more. Do they pay you uh, you to chat with strangers? <laughs> Come on now. Let's not be uh, a jackass. Nice to meet you. I'm like Alex Arthorn, captain of the Ur Unreliable. Oh, I can I can lie like that? Why would I do that? Is that why you've got a pair of armed guards? I don't know what's the point of lying here. Is that why you've got a pair of armed guards? Huh. Let's do that. Uh, never got your name. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Seeing you're in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. All right. Well, you know, uh, who do I talk uh, about the power regulator? Yeah, I, I do want to know that. I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. This place looks like it's failing to pieces. Uh, do you need a fancy title for a grave digger? Okay, I got, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so well, who do I need to talk to? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? It depends on the work. You're offering me a job. I do uh, I do what I want. Depends on the work. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Okay. You want me to collect what's owed to you. So you want me to be a collector. You're making people pay for their own grades. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask you about uh, something else, okay. Uh, you want me to collect uh, what's owed to you. Why, why can't you just collect these fees yourself, exactly? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. All right. I'll collect your fees for you. Sure. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. He may want to twist his arm a little. All right. Why is this spe why is this special? Where can I find these Where can I find them exactly? I just need to know where the, I can find them. Don't worry about the uh, barbershop in town. the part where I need to tell them that he gave they knew he owe me money. I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. All right. Uh, there was something I wanted to ask yeah. you. All right. So the town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you uh, employed. Why? Why? Why are these options, guys? I love it. Um, you uh, you lose a lot of people to mar uh, marauders. Have you heard any news about the hope? Have you heard any news about the hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists. What got lost in the aether never to be found again. 
Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing as far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Well, I'm one of the... Uh, I, don't, I don't understand. Are you saying everybody's forgotten about us? The hope isn't a rumor. It's real. I'm living proof. All right. Easy now. No need to get your hackles up. Maybe you've been out in the sun too I ah, doesn't believe me. Why don't you head over to Damn. the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Sure, whatever. This is ridiculous. I don't understand. They said the cunning was expecting us. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and calling me that, but you need to stop. Or there's going to be trouble. Where's the trouble if... Where's the trouble in asking a question? Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Let's change this. All right, I'll leave you be. Uh, there. So everybody's in the so Crest Tracker display. Where is it displayed exactly? Summary. Uh, hold on. It doesn't tell me. Oh, fuck. Journal. Where's the the quests? No, I don't. I, I would need to know. Oh, the quests. There they are. So a main quest, a task. So this is a main. So still as they love grade. Either. Okay, so this is a side quest. This is a main quest. All right, good. Let's go. I'm gonna do this side quest on my own free time, guys. Let's go in. Can I not uh, get rid of my weapon or whatever? I'm actually gonna switch to my melee weapon. There we go. There we go. My melee weapon right there. Uh, now we are in Edgewater, the first town of of this series that we talked to. So we can talk to basically anyone we want. That's pretty interesting. What about him? The first civilized pe person we uh. Okay, so we can't exactly have a dialogue with everyone, but it looks like a nice little place. A little bit deserted though. Resident, resident. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. It's open. Space Destroyers Cantina discovered. So this is the cantina. Nice. Worker. What is this? Steal. I'm not going to steal that. I don't think uh, they're going to see me if I steal. Alright, I'm not going to go through there just yet. I want to complete the quests and everything. I don't feel like there's any point in me uh, wasting my time here. This is going to be really fun to know. What I'm supposed to do and everything once, uh, like I, uh, once I get done with everything, or who am I gonna talk to? The types of missions I'm gonna be able to do. There's literally nobody here. I can this is definitely steal what I want, right? What is that? Use terminal. Logs. Return to root. Okay. Interesting. So still, uh, still a nickel. But shit, this guy's gonna see me. What if I steal? There we go. I stole these two things. I don't know if they saw me on camera or whatever, but uh, I stole these two things. What about this? What is this? Th okay. I don't know, guys. Let's just go into the elevator, I guess. This game, I love this game already. It does feel like a fall, the way you can steal stuff, interact with people. I'm just excited to see what types of missions I can unlock, side quests and stuff. All right, what's going on here? Why it took Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Pavari, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. You should be the town ba uh, the town boss. I'll wait until you're finished. Are you Reed? I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Uniform? What are you talking about? I don't work for Space's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Uh, my ship needs repair. I'm looking for re a power regulator. Only regulator we got is the hookup the town transformer. Mr. Hobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. 
I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Really? How is that? Let me guess you want me to do something for you. Uh, frying myself? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. All right. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? Uh, probably marauders. That's a lot of uh, to ask for a stranger. Uh, tell me about this uh, geothermal plant. You know, tell me about... No, you know what? When you say abandoned, what do you mean exactly? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people... Also, oh, not marauders, okay. Uh, tell me what I need to know, uh, what I need to do. What a surprise. Uh, I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. I don't, I don't give a fuck about that. You mean marauders? Marauders aren't people. The people living in the botanical lab, they're deserted, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Yeah, sure, fine, no problem. Uh, you want me to solve your disorder? I, uh, I charge by the head. Yeah, I charge by the head. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Okay. Uh, how will I recognize... Uh, yeah, how will I recognize her exactly? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. Talking a lot, guys, but uh, I, I need to know these uh, I stuff. I don't want to look for it. You know, I want to be lost while I'm uh, going on the adventure. You're asking me to cut off the power to an entire community? I don't care. I must have left town for a reason. What if I uh, doesn't want to come back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her family. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Sure. All right. I can't make any promises. Uh, I'll see what I can do to help you. Uh, I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you... My first companion, guys? I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Salton. Sorry. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holton, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. All right, then. Sure, I could use a company. I don't need Pervetti's help. Also, I can choose whether I want that companion or not. Um. Sure, I could use the company. Why not? Why not? You can come with me if you want. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. I must warn oh, you, I though. To hear that. I must Especially warn you before I go. Thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, let's get going. Now, oh, companions, there we go. So you've got a companion. There are characters that join you in your adventures to help in a variety of ways. Provide combat support, the skills enhance. You can unlock special companion compatibility with inspiration skills. All right. May require completing another quest before they will assist you. You can check. Okay, so now I must warn you, Parvati, that you want to be my companion. Fine. Don't be like Kurt, though. Like, don't be like Kurt. I'm telling you right now, because I've got no scruple of killing my companions. All right. I'm a pretty, uh, in RPG games, I'm a pretty bad guy. So if you're, if you're just a good girl or whatever that wants to follow around, you want to, you might want to go somewhere else, you know? I'm just saying right now. 
Keep your distance in that case. But if you're willing to be a bad girl, just like I am a bad guy, that's fine. All right, let's go. Main mission, guys. We gotta get out of town. You know what? Before we head out of town, I do need to do the side quest. So I, I'm gonna do the side quest right now on my own free time. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.